Hello and a warm welcome to today's KHS service shortcut. My name is Dennis Jacobi and I would like to introduce to you the most efficient methods to further increase the sustainability of your KHS PET line. Why is resource saving production becoming more and more important? Consumers pay increasing attention whether their drinks are being produced and packed ecologically. Furthermore, legal regulations and financial incentives are introduced worldwide to push bottling companies to produce more environmentally friendly. Today, I would like to show to you the most important solutions to make your PET line more sustainable. We can see mainly two approaches. First, optimizing your container. And secondly, optimizing your PET line itself. Optimizing your container includes the reduction of bottle weights in the neck finish and the bottle body, the usage of recycled instead of virgin PET, and the introduction of tethered caps. Optimizing your PET line includes conversions, for example, of an upgrade for the blow molder, and process optimization at the blow molder to reduce heating energy and blowing pressures. Oftentimes, PET bottles use a lot more PET material than necessary to comply with all technical requirements such as shelf life, consumer convenience and suitability for the chain of production and logistics. PET material is therefore wasted. Our bottles and shapes specialists help you determine realistic target weights for your PET bottles and show you how to reach them. Virgin PET is made directly from fossil resources. Thus, using RPET instead of Virgin PET can reduce the carbon dioxide footprint of your container by a large amount. One can say, the more RPET you use, the more sustainable your bottle gets. Since the rising demand for RPET leads to increasing costs, the decision to use RPET or Virgin PET is an economical one as well. Furthermore, Depending on the quality of the RPET material, it is possible to encounter a loss of bottle quality, which would then have to be compensated by other technical measures. We are looking forward to help you determine the best suitable percentage of RPET for your PET bottle. To ensure that closures are not lost into the environment, but instead returned into the recycling loop, they can be firmly attached to the PET bottle, as you can see here at our KHS Loop Light bottle. We will help you find the technical solution best suitable for your product and implement it on your PET line. Please be aware that most PET bottles within the European Union will be legally required to use tethered caps until July 2024 latest. At KHS, we keep developing and improving our equipment to increase our energy efficiency even further. Many of our technological advancements can be implemented on existing machines as conversions. Two of our most important energy-saving upgrades for your KHS PET line are oven upgrades for our blow molders with the capability to reduce the heating energy by up to 46% and Airbag Plus systems to recycle expensive P2 high-pressure air with the potential to save up to 35% on energy at the compressor. Oftentimes, PT lines are not ideally set up for a large variety of possible reasons, therefore wasting energy and other resources. Our experienced process engineers will check your PT line and offer suggestions on how to reduce the consumption of heating energy or high pressure air. For example, by optimizing heating profiles, adjusting the blowing process and exchanging parts such as filters and nozzles. In our experience, most lines can see a big improvement with only little effort through professional process optimization. We have now seen different approaches to effectively increase the sustainability of your PET line. 
For more information, please visit us at khs.com or contact us directly at any time. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Many thanks and see you next time.